Hello, my name is Robin Whitworth. I'm a Beachbody coach, founder of Team Lifetime. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably in one of our training groups because our team rocks. Um, <clears throat> all right, our topic today is posting to Facebook or Instagram or social media, whatever you're doing. We need to get our message out there. Um, some people before Beachbody saw social media as just a fun thing to do. It was a pastime. It was you know, and if you were on it too long, you felt guilty and you felt bad, right? Like, oh, I'm wasting my time. How many times do we see people on social media be like, oh, I have to take a break from social media? Um, it's because they see it as completely, like, just something fun to do. Like, anyway, um, in Beachbody, in um, what we do, we're actively sharing. Um, and social media becomes a tool. You need to have that mindset shift if you're going to not feel guilty about this. I had to have that mindset shift a couple of months into my business. I remember telling my coach, I'm like, I feel like being on Facebook is bad. Like, I feel like I'm frustrated with myself when I'm on Facebook for like an hour. And she's like, this is your business, though. This is your platform. You're creating groups. You're messaging people. You're putting up stuff. Like, that's your business platform. It's like going out to your storefront and putting on the open sign putting up what sales you have going on or, you know, come in for this free sample or this class is this night and you're putting up your information. If you had a real storefront, you wouldn't feel bad about doing that, right? Like, like it's your family's livelihood. <laughs> in Beachbody, it's the same thing. Your social media is your storefront. You need to be posting three to five times a day. Every time you post, it's like that open sign flashes. If you never post or you only post once or twice, like they don't, you have to be in, 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 have an online presence is what I'm trying to say. And a little bit of Facebook training for you. Um, Facebook doesn't show all your posts to everyone in your group. They try to streamline it through the people you're contacting the most. So hopefully you're commenting and liking on people's posts. Um, they'll see your feed the most. And if there are a bunch of Beachbody coaches, I highly suggest you unfollow them and only Go and see your Beachbody friends when it's fun time. That's when social media is fun, is when you're just going to like cheer people on for fun. In, be in, in your business, you want to be cheering and liking and commenting on people that are your market, people that haven't tried Beachbody before, people that you'd really like to have in your groups, people that you see could benefit so that they're seeing your posts, okay? Now, when you post on Facebook, you need to be proactive, you need to be proud that you're a Beachbody coach, and you need to um, be you. So don't post Beachbody stock photos. Okay. Don't be salesy. Don't say things like, okay, I'm doing this group. It's going to be super fun. And comment below if you want to do it. Let me know if you're interested. I'll give you like 15% off if you join, because I'm not sure like who's going to get in here. Like, do you see how that's not confident? It's salesy. You're trying to like give people a discount when you don't even know if they care if they pay full price. I see too many coaches too afraid to ask for full price. Like we don't do discounts in Beachbody. Like it's worth what it is. It is worth so much more than what we charge. Okay. Don't offer a lot of like discounts and gimmicks and free cards and all this stuff for people to join you. That automatically tells your audience that what you have to offer isn't worth what the price says. Do you see that? You can't be salesy and try to be clever and try to maybe point fingers about a certain lifestyle. Like, are you feeling fat? Join my group. That's horrible. I would never join a group like that because that means that person that joins admits they're fat. And a lot of people, or they feel that they're fat. Like, I wouldn't comment on that post. I wouldn't contact that person and be like, well, maybe I would if I was really desperate, you know. But don't pinpoint a certain lifestyle behavior. What you want to do is always post from your heart. Post from a point of gratitude. Post with your story. So say, I felt this way because I was doing this. This is what I'm doing now and this is how I feel. I would love to share how I got to this place with you. Comment below if you want details. You know what I mean? Do you see how that's a lot more safe? It's a lot more loving and relate. how to be relatable to people. Some people say, well... Nobody cares about what I have to say. And I said, yes, they do. I remember one time I posted about um, my hospital experience with my preemie. And I talked about all the details. 
the bumps in the hallway while I was on that wheelchair with my new incision. I'd had a major abdominal surgery and my daughter was in the NICU and that journey through the hallway. I remember the lights. I remember it being long. I remember the squeaky wheels of my IV pole and feeling humiliated that I had a catheter and my pee was out there for everyone to see. But I was grateful for my husband for taking me to see my baby. And it was a tender moment and I had to reach for her because I couldn't stand up yet. And she was in her NICU bed and it was too high for me to see. And it was this tender moment. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. But do you see how I'm talking about the chair? I'm talking about the wheels. I'm talking about the room. I'm talking about the lights. I'm talking about where I came from. You can almost be there with me. You'll connect with me on some level, the more specific you get. I remember reading a post about my friend telling about how her grandfather died. And she talked about his hands. And she talked about how they were big and thick and callous. And how she loved to hold them because her whole hand fit in them. And just talking about how his hands were connected me to her and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful post and I could tell you loved your grandpa. Like, it, it immediately made me connect with her. Like it wasn't just, oh my grandpa died last night. Okay, sad, you know, but when people talk about the details and they get really detailed into their own moment and their own story, that's when people are gonna relate with you. That's when they're gonna connect. So maybe you're gonna post about your challenge group that's coming up, you can say, you know what? I'm gonna be vulnerable here, you guys. Post a picture of yourself saying, vulnerable, or maybe a picture of you a couple of years ago, you know, that will show that your the shine in your face is different. You can say, you guys, you know, five years ago, I didn't have a lot of hopes and dreams. I didn't have, you know, I didn't surround myself with dreamers. I kind of just was living day to day. I was very reactive. I, we just hoped we'd make it. We hoped maybe we would make more money one day. We hoped we'd be able to, you know, take this vacation with our kids. And I remember sitting in my bed and being very frustrated some many nights a week, you know, that I, I didn't have really a different vehicle, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what my options were. I didn't want to go back to school. We didn't, we couldn't afford that. And I didn't want to do it. And then I saw these people posting on Facebook about this company where I could work from home and it was a healthy lifestyle. And I just invited people to join my journey and I thought, you know, that sounds like something I want to join. I need a community. I need positivity. And it just struck me so hard and I'm inviting you to do that with me today. I'm inviting you to join this community that I've been in that has changed my life so much. Whether you have health goals or not, I want to be able to show you what I've done if you're looking for a change in your life. You know, and that's just so much more powerful. <laughs> And being like, join my group, it's going to be so much fun, we're all going to drink Shakeology, and we're going to have to check in every day, like, that's stuff people don't really understand, and they don't really need to until they commit. Um, what you need to know is if they want to change. What you need to know is if they're looking for something different. And sometimes they don't even know they are, until you make a post like that, and then they connect with you, and they go, that's totally how I feel right now. <laughs> that's me. And you don't have to make these long-winded posts, but it can just be, you know, some image that makes you flash back to before Beachbody and you can post and say, before Beachbody, this would have made me excited. Now I understand it makes me feel like this. And that's the end of your post. There doesn't always have to be a call to action at the end of them. Um, so things you want to post about, some people say, I don't know what to post about. You're going to post about your vital behaviors. You're going to post about your groups coming up. You're going to post about the groups you're in. You're going to be recognizing your team members. You're going to be recognizing maybe your upline coach. If she's really inspiring to you and she just, you know, really helped you, post about her. Maybe there's a person, maybe it's your neighbor and you just saw them out, you know, shoveling their snow or whatever they're doing. And you're like, man, my neighbor rocks. Like just recognize people for being awesome and in your life. Um, you're going to post about your psychology and it's not, look at my psychology. It's so awesome. It's so worth every penny. It's, before this came into my life, I was going to Starbucks every day and drinking sugar <laughs> and I was killing my metabolism. So grateful for this today. Okay. That came from a point of view. It's not, I can't believe everybody that goes to Starbucks, they should be drinking this. No, 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 no. It has to come from you and your experience so that they relate. Um, and then your personal development. When you have that moment when you're reading and all of a sudden the light turns on, you're like, oh my gosh. I totally needed to read that. That just changed everything for me. You need to make a post about that. And it needs to have your face and it needs to be a nice image. Some of my favorite um, apps is Word Swag, Rona Designs, um, Picolage. 
That's how you're going to make these types of posts. And you're going to post three to five times a day. That is part of your job description. Okay? So, some guidelines on posting to Facebook.